Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where, oh, I am really looking forward to this video. What can I say? You join me today. Super, 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 super happy. I am loving the Bitcoin charts right now. Big, big, big smile, big positivity, sending my love to you watching this video. I hope that you are very well. I hope that you really, really enjoy and learn a lot from this video because I am telling you right now, I am telling you, looking at me watching this video, pay attention, pay attention. And this video is gonna help you so, so, so much. That is a promise. You're going to love this video. It's going to help you. And we are going to be ready to crush the charts. Oh, this is a good one. This is a very good one. Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, as always, I'm going to be reviewing this section of the price action to educate you. You can learn, get into the minds of one of the best traders right now. The predictions and accuracy of these levels, I'm going to be going through and explaining why they are so, so powerful. Then we're going to be moving on to what we are seeing right here on the Bitcoin chart. Just seeing a swing failure pattern of that high and obviously moving down slightly here. I will be covering that as well and the next levels we are looking to trade towards. There is going to be so much packed into this video. All I can say is pay attention, turn off the distractions and let's go. Let's go into what we love and that is making money trading Bitcoin. Oh, I, am in, I am in my element right now. Let's go ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so starting off, first of all, of obviously this section of the chart from the last, you know, proper video that I done, which was on Friday. In that Friday's video, we are obviously talking about the potential start of the bear market and how levels were being flipped from resistance uh, into support into resistance. So, okay, at the time of this year, towards the end of that video, I recognized this inverse head and shoulders pattern. And it's like uh, I actually mentioned then over on Twitter, the next the Twitter. Uh, Twitch, twitch.tv, the next day. Um, this inverse head and shoulders pattern, I want to explain this in, in, in a bit of detail here because it's really, really important that you understand. Okay, so why was, let's just add on, add on our inverse head and shoulder markings. Why was this inverse head and shoulders pattern different than the vast majority of head and shoulders that we trade? As you know, I love to counter trade patterns. From that video, if you watched it on Friday, you will know I was in a long from this lower daily and a short from the upper daily around 57,400. So I was in a long from here and a short from here. During that video, obviously long from here, short from here. During that video, I recognized, okay, we actually have an inverse head and shoulders. And then the next update that I put was to my group in Discord, of course, I'm always going to post first in the Champions Discord. Then after that, I'm, I'm posting a, you know, a little bit later over onto Twitter. And this is a print screen from the Champions Discord group. Updated my team as we started to break this inverse head and shoulders. You know, obviously during that free public YouTube video, I had talked about the long here and the short here, how I am foreseeing this to be a potential range on the very low term time frame, five minute chart. Um, basically what happened, obviously short from here, long from here. I closed my short in anticipation of the breakout of the inverse head and shoulders. Okay, thus I'm not in that short position anymore. I still hold the long from the lower daily, obviously down here. Okay, so that long I am now still in because I had no reason to close it. The short I closed in anticipation of, of this breakout. And where is the next level above us? Well, it was obviously this big monthly level we were looking at. So first of all, uh, you know, if you watched my Twitch live stream, which was a free live stream on Saturday, I explained this, but I'm going to repeat it because not everybody tuned into this. Why did this inverse head and shoulders play out when the vast majority of them do not? And the simple answer from my perspective is that this head and shoulders, first of all, nobody was aware of it. I love to counter trade the patterns which a lot of which have a lot of attention, yeah? This was an inverse head and shoulders which had no attention, nobody else was talking about it, and it was literally off the back of a very, very big move to the downside. So one would imagine, you know, this, this is a recipe for, it's actually more likely to play out. Hence, why when it started to play out, I am not trying to counter trade this one. I was ready to see if we saw a fake out. That would have been coming back below the daily. But until proven otherwise, I was expecting this daily to act as support. And it did in the end. And where did we move up to? We moved up to that monthly level. So you can start to see here, there is no randomness on the chart. It's actually very easy if you just mark out your levels. Mark out the levels before they are hit. 
and trade the reaction off of those levels. Oh, it's a gold mine right now. It really is. Look at this. Next level to the upside, 58,822. What was that? It was a monthly level. You can see exactly what happens here. The accuracy is outstanding. Come on. We come up to that monthly. We get our rejection. We then test it not once, but another two times. Okay. So we, we test the monthly a few times here. Okay. Obviously, in the end, we get our bit of a pullback before overall upwards. Again, this was during my Twitch live stream. If you watch that Twitch live stream, overall, I was expecting a move upwards. Okay. I was remaining in longs and bullish. We obviously got a bit of a pullback here. Why? Uh, you know, again, over on, over on Twitch, uh, I was mentioning this, but we obviously had this triangle at the time. And that triangle obviously did break to the downside. And from here, we had this, we had this box of confluence. What was on this? We had our daily level. We had the potential swing failure pattern. We had the measured move. Uh, we had coming into our Fibonacci levels. Um, and of course, the number one confluence, what more could you want? The number one confluence obviously being, it was a chart champion's magic box. Not often that fails. <laughs> obviously, we wick directly into that box. It was extremely accurate. We wick directly into the box that I drew. Okay, we had that. And then the next step, three, two, one, <laughs> pump. We pumped obviously very largely to the upside. Okay, so that is each step of the way from that magic box. We can start to we can start to see how everything comes together as a plan. Inverse head and shoulders up to the monthly level, retrace from the monthly level. Where do we retrace from that monthly level? We get to the measured move into our confluence box. We hit that box. Surprise, surprise, surprise. We get a really big move out of it, okay? We get a big move out of it, slightly front running $60,000. Okay, this is amazing. We, we slightly front run $60,000. And then this brings us up to my video from yesterday, yeah? Yesterday, I made a video. Special one on a Sunday. It's not often I do that. I'm said in this video, still in my longs, and I'm looking for at least the wick onto sixty thousand dollars. And I emphasize this greatly. We want to see at least the wick onto this level. Okay. My exact words were: I expect fifty, sorry, sixty thousand dollars to be broken. I'm expecting that level to be broken by at least the wick. Why? Well, this is the reason, and it pretty was amazing. This is the exact reason. Obviously. There is a lot of stops. Obviously, this is posted before we had the wick, but in the group, I'm saying that we have a lot of stops above $60,000. So what happened here? A lot of people are going to be shorting in this area of the chart when I was remaining in my long, and they're going to place their stop loss above $60,000. Okay, why? Because they're thinking that's a safe stop loss. My thought process is reversed. I want to basically take out all those stop losses. That gives us a short setup. One of the easiest short setups we're ever going to see, let's be honest. OK, from that short setup, well, you can see how it progresses. We do a swing failure pattern, e.g. we wick through $60,000, close back below. And in that instance, it's done. The setup is activated. We were ready and waiting for this. We had our weekly level marked out and we had the weekly level marked out. We knew $60,000 was likely to be taken. And then to see a swing failure pattern of the prior high onto that weekly. This is a setup. This is our bread and butter. If you are a Chart Champions member, if you have studied our educational content and you know how we trade, this is our bread and butter. This is our extremely, extremely high probability trade. The, 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 the expectancy of this loss is minuscule for the expected reward is extremely high. This is what we love. It's handled. We have the swing failure pattern. And then what happens? Obviously, we start to make our way down and we make our way down. Obviously, we do a bit of a swing fire pattern of this high, we get a bit of a bounce. But overall, what was the next thing that I was making you aware of in yesterday's video? It was that CME gap, no? CME gap. So as soon as the CME opens last night, I'm reminding my team, obviously, I've done a Champions live stream, done a live stream, and I'm telling my team, you know, CME gap, this is very likely to be closed. We opened the CME with a gap to the upside. So what is the highest probability? It's closing that CME gap. CME gap. It's dropping, Okay. We are not trading off the CME gap. The, the short was already prior taken from the weekly swing failure pattern. But nevertheless, adding this on as confluence, we can see that there's a high probability that we are going down lower, e.g. that this low here was likely to still come down more. Why? Because it's likely we're filling the CME gap with the context of where we are, the stop losses we've just taken, and, you know, just trading the probabilities and the highest, you know, what's the most likely outcome. Again, we will trade longs, we will trade shorts 
I'm open to trading this market anyway, as long as it's got a high probability. We are the casino. We only take the best trades. We're ready and waiting. And what happens? We come down and we actually have now filled that CME gap. Okay, we've filled the CME gap. So, I mean, that was that was three or four trades there. And oh, man, I, I hope I really hope that this is like so inspiring or so like motivational or so eye opening that the levels that we have marked here are just are just so perfectly respected. For me, it makes me so excited. It just it just makes me I just, it just makes me feel really happy because why you put in the hard work, you know, you put you spend hours doing the analysis, you spend hours working out the best trades and then to see them work out like this. Oh, it's really special. It's special because it's not just for myself, but I'm able to share this with others, see them performing. Oh, yeah, it's just it's it's like a fairy tale. It really is. It's beautiful right now. Um, and that obviously leads us up to where we are right here on the Bitcoin chart. Obviously, as just mentioned, similar to this, we do a sw swing failure pattern of the last time. Fairly easy sculpt short position. And we're coming back down towards the low of the range. There's one thing that I want to mention to you before I get onto this section. And that is if you are not already, by the way, if you are not already, come and follow us over on Twitter. Yeah, if you don't have a Twitter account, pause this video right now, create a Twitter account and give us a follow because, you know, I'm giving like heads up. I'm giving explanations on some of my trades for free over on Twitter. So if you are not following on Twitter, you're, you're missing out on a lot of content, to be honest with you. Uh, obviously, I'm just doing like one YouTube video, one or one every other day for the public. Yeah. So I'm, I'm handing out quite a lot of good information for free over on Twitter. So if you're not following on Twitter, go over and follow us right now. And for an example, I will show you what you want to do. You want to follow us, Chart Champions, over on Twitter, and then tick this bell. That is going to notify you of all of our tweets as soon as... Have, have a follow, my friend. That's going to notif notify you as soon as we tweet on Twitter. Okay, very, very, very helpful information. So give us a follow, Chart Champions, tick the bell. And you might as well do that while you're at it on the YouTube channel. <laughs> when you're subscribed to our YouTube tick the little bell and you're going to get notified as soon as these videos goes live. Uh, you would have been notified yesterday as soon as we were talking about the CME gap, the weekly, how I was expecting 60k to be taken out. You know, if you're watching these videos as soon as they come out, oh, you've already got a little bit of an edge over the competition. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I would recommend. Follow us on Twitter, tick the bell, follow us on YouTube, tick the bell. Then you are ready as soon as these videos come live. Okay, and that brings us up to where we are here right now on the Bitcoin chart. So as mentioned, we obviously have just done a bit of a swing failure pattern of the last time. This ultimately is like a little bit of a mini range going on here. It's basically a bit of a range from where the CME gap got filled to back. Well, you just saw it, the wick up to $58,000. Um, so we have a, you know, this is what I would refer to as like a local range here. OK, and then we can look for the break of this local range. Like a few days ago, we had a local range. Uh, let me just find it really quickly. Da, 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 da. Um, where were we? There we go. Like we had a local range here. We had a resistance of a daily. We have support of a daily. OK, we break that resistance. We move up to our next level being the monthly. Very similar to what we have here. We have a local support which is coming in at about 50 six thousand eight hundred we have a resistance at fifty eight thousand dollars okay if we break and hold our resistance we're going to look back up towards the monthly aren't we if we lose this support well the supports are totally less defined okay i would say they're a lot less defined okay i'm going to put a fibonacci here from the low to the high of this move obviously where we are bouncing currently is all around this cc level it's already given us quite a few bounces to swing further pattern that last tie I'm going to do is just put this on standard. So, I mean, we have a bit of a support then coming in at around 56,400, 500, you know, if we say 56,500 and we give a hundred dollars either side, and then of course back down to the daily. The thing is that you always have to remember is we would never trade off of Fibonacci alone. Again, how many times do I stress? We trade high probabilities. One factor of confluence is not enough. So one Fibonacci on its own is not enough. You are going to have to put in some work to find other confluences. OK, because just one level is, 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 is in my opinion, a gamble. You, know, you want to see three or four plus levels of confluence, because when you get all of that coming together, then you're given a really strong trade. Yeah, really high probabilities, um, because I want to just stress this before I, t I continue. I really want to you to understand. Yeah, my whole mission of 
doing this channel of when I first created this YouTube years ago was to assist people to not get wrecked. That was my whole mission. I saw what people were doing. I saw the misinformation shared and I just wanted to help people stop getting wrecked. That's mission number one, stop getting wrecked. And then it's a plus if you make money along with us, yeah? But the number one thing you wanna do is not lose money. That's the worst thing you can do. So I wanna just, I wanna emphasize really, really big because it's important to me do not get wrecked. Do not use high leverage trades. Do not gamble. Do not gamble away your money, please. Yeah, Money is important at the end of the day. You want to keep your money. If you are taking bad trades, and by bad trades, I mean, you know, spending five minutes on a chart and going into a long, going into a short, you know, reading something on Twitter, entering a trade. No, you, you, you're gambling and you're going to lose your money. Please, if it's not from me, educate yourself in some way of understanding this market can be beaten. Yeah, you can be, you can make money on this market. The levels are insanely well respected and it does take time. This is not easy money per se. If you wanna make money from this market, you have to put in effort, you have to put in time, but the rewards are big. But what you will find is you are gonna lose money trading if you do not have a good understanding. So if you do not have a good understanding, do not worry, you can learn, of course you can learn. While you are learning, do not gamble away your money. You know, trade demo account, trade one dollar, trade low amounts. Do not leverage away your money until you uh, until you actually know what you're doing. Okay, please, please do that for me. Okay, I just don't want to see people getting wrecked. Um, keep your money, yeah, keep your money. So um, do not lose it on a gamble trade. Anyway, where I was going with that, we want to see high levels of confluence, yeah? So a, a one level of Fibonacci on its own is not enough. Yeah, we want to see three, four you know, plus levels of confluence. That just means several levels together, as we can see here. We start to use point of controls. We start to use volume levels, Fibonacci time, you know, our raise, Fibonacci channels, fixed raise, Elliott waves. You know, these are all different tools and they come together to give us strong levels, to give us our plan for the very best the very best next trade. You know, the end you start to add in order flow as it's coming in, you start to add in swing failure patterns. Oh, it's, 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 it's very beautiful, what can I say? As you can see, I'm a bit obsessed with it. But anyway, I digress and re 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 resume. Wow, this video, my videos go on way too long. I wanted this to be like a five minute video and it's 17 minutes, man. Um, what can I say? I get carried away. It's the passion, it's the love. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the bigger level obviously down towards towards the daily, okay? So we have the overall resistance coming in at $60,000. We have the lower daily coming in at, 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 at $56,000-ish, yeah, give or take. Overall, a bit, of a, a bit of a sideways range here. We are pretty much, you know, spat, smack bang in the middle of the range with a sideways range currently going on. As I said, if we break the higher this range, we can look to the monthly. If we break the lower this range, well, we could look down to our first FIB level there at around 56,500, but the bigger level we would say is, is the daily right now. Okay, so that's the way that I would approach this. Okay, that's the way that I would personally approach this. Sideways local range. Again, we can look for swing failure patterns of these range. Swing failure pattern is basically you take the range lows and you come back in and you remain range bound. If we close below the lower the range, we're looking towards our next level. If we break the higher the range, we're looking towards our next level. Okay, it really is as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. What I'm doing here is I'm giving you levels that are actionable, that can actually be traded. It's not like wait for a breakout, cross your fingers and hope for the best. No, it's wait for the levels to be hit see the reaction off of those levels and make an informed trade. Yeah, I want to talk you through these two short positions. This monthly was 100% given to you. If you had just waited for this level to be hit, guess what? You could have waited for that level to be hit, saw the reaction, you could have taken a short, okay? The next level that I give was the weekly, yeah? Yesterday, if you had waited for the reaction, seen the level was hit with a rejection, swing failure pan, you know, this, this is just... This is, you can see the, the massive high probability in this. It's no way in shape or form a gamble. No way is that a gamble. Ah, oh, anyway, <laughs> a bit of a long video, but when I love something, I love it. Uh, <laughs> I love trading, man. I love trading. Oh, shall I end with this? This was probably the best. The, the This was very much exactly as predicted, though. No? These moves on the chart exactly as predicted. If you want a bit of a laugh to end, well, pause the screen and read this because this was... This was, <laughs> this is my new NFT, my new, my new NFT right here. Be careful of what people's alternative 
motives are. I don't even know the correct English right now. But this was this made me laugh a lot. That made me laugh a lot. Warning people, and then for this to come out three minutes afterwards, uh, you couldn't make that up. So I want to just say, if you love these videos, please smash that like button. Hit that like button. Turn it blue. Share the video with your friends. Share the video of your family. Share the video with thy neighbour. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to thank you so much for your support. Honestly, it's absolutely beautiful. Your support is is lovely. We are, oh, what can I say? I could just, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, a big thank you to you watching this video. And um, yeah, let's just continue to crush the charts. Let's just absolutely continue to crush these charts. And that's the best way to to uh, enjoy ourselves. That's all I'll say. So I will say one final time, hit that like button, share the video, make some noise for the YouTube and Twitter algorithms and absolutely just enjoy it. Absolutely just enjoy it. It's a water time to be alive. Of course, no financial advice in this video, bit of an entertainment educational stream only. I really hope you've learned something. That will be my mission complete, whether it's one person or whether it's a uh, hundred people watching this video, I don't mind. I hope that I've helped at least one. Thank you ever so much. I'll catch you in the next video. And that's me signing out. Goodbye, everybody. Love you. <laughs>